Huh? I like to, I take the mop and I like to I like to go around all the edges, see? And I like to make sure that all of the corners are clean. And then I lift. What I do is I I move the couch, you see, and then I I sweep and I mop under there. And then you know I make sure that the entire kitchen is completely clean. See, it's completely spotless and shiny. And then I move on to the floor. But not before, because I'm going to be walking in there, and other people are going to be coming through, and then that's going to make it dirty before I get checked off. See? Yeah. 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 And then, you know, sometimes I take the ice tray and, and I, I, after I use it, well, actually, every time I take ice out of the ice tray, I generally knock the rest of the ice that is left over in the ice tray because I'm not going to use the whole ice tray, see? And so I, I knock the rest at the bottom of the freezer and then I refill the ice tray. And that way we're always constantly filled up with ice and there's no need to argue about who didn't fill up the ice tray, see? I see. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. You know, yeah, that's, that's I, wasn't, I wasn't a bad, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't a bad drug addict. What I was bad at is when I ran out of drugs, see? I see. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 uh, really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what else is interesting? What's that? The B2B podcast, which is what's happening right now. Whoa. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. So, uh, yeah. Episode 47, everybody. Wow. I know it. So, so uh, yeah, you want, right. <laughs> you want to talk to me about Neuralink? Go ahead, Neuralink. Please. I, I do want to talk to you about Neuralink. So, go on then. Those you poo pooed it. You poo pooed it. <laughs> right. Well, many people who uh, many many people don't know what that is. So, oh, I right. guess we should give a little uh, little summary about what what Neuralink is and what it's supposed to be and and the ideas behind it. Who's you know who's uh, funding it, and all of no. that good stuff, and then we can, uh, I don't know, talk about the implications and and uh, what maybe what we think is going to happen next yeah. when this kind of thing uh, takes place. It could change the world forever. It could <laughs> right, right. It could absolutely like change everything for everybody forever. Um, so yeah, Neuralink. So it's a it's an American neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk, your hero. Is that correct? No, no. Okay. Go ahead. Elon Musk, your anti-hero. No, and others. Go ahead. No, oh no, no. <laughs> Elon Musk, that guy. That's better. Elon Musk, <laughs> that guy, and yeah. other people. Yeah. So, they're developing implantable brain machine interfaces. Okay. And um, so they uh, they started up in 2016, and they have uh, several hundred million dollars in funding. A lot of it from Musk, a hundred million so far directly from him. And yeah. they've got a big staff of 90 employees, much of scientists. They recruited to figure out how to implant. Um, very thin sewing machine like threads into the brain um, that would right. directly connect to neurons um, so that uh, people could um, I don't I see there's, there's the there's the glitch for what for what right. are they doing that for so they can um, connect your brain to the internet 
Yeah, or a computer of some form, yeah. Or a computer, so the idea is so that um, people who are paralyzed, for instance, could uh, use their brain to move their their arm, like without yeah. um, without an assistance. For, um, they can just think it or... or uh, cause there have been some experiments that had um, more... Um, bulky <clears throat> devices that were connected to people's brains where they could like move a, um, a cursor across the computer screen by just thinking about it. Yeah. But this is much more, um, this is much more, uh, fine, I guess, and small and, and instead of hundreds of, um, Implants. There are thousands um, that connect directly into um, the neurons of someone's brain. Um, mm. So they're they're gonna they want to start working with human subjects next year. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, but the, the challenge is, you know, it's a great vision, but are they going to be able to actually do this? And you know, he wants to. Uh, I guess connect uh, devices into brains that would allow speedy communication between humans and computers, right? Just by thinking about it. So that's pretty wild. And um, I don't know. It's like it's kind of like the idea that you know years ago people said, "Oh, uh, there's not going to be buttons on phones." Uh, I'll never. I'll never use that. I'll never. I'll never use a phone with, without buttons or, um, or back in the, like the twenties, for instance. Oh, what? You want to send electricity directly into my home? That's absurd. Like, that, that will, yeah. that'll never happen. Yeah. Um, it's this kind, this kind of thing, whether it's this company or some other venture, um, will happen. And, um, it's going to be one of those things that, Certainly affects everybody because if you get if you get this device and yeah. you are suddenly able to uh, have much more immediate access to everything computer oriented in the world, um, you're going to have a huge advantage yeah. to uh, to other people. Um, but I don't know. I, I I I'm pretty neutral on the whole idea. I don't really know what I mean, to I think, think of it yet. I think that we definitely have problems with communicating, like, what we're feeling to each other and hearing as well. And I think that this could possibly help with that, too. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think that, like, being able to, you know, get across a message to someone faster than we currently can with our fingers typing might be yeah. interesting, too. I mean, I guess the the big idea is that something like this, rather than it being like a, you know, a, more of a social device that, I don't know, helps people uh, communicate, like no, yeah. regular people communicate. It, it's something more along the lines of, is it helping amputees regain mobility or sure. helping people like hear, speak, and, and see people who have lost sure, that, those that, abilities? That, 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 but that's just for them. What about us? We want to be supermen too, you know. Well, right. A lot of people do, and a lot of people like absolutely do not. Like they're like, no way, and you're not going to implant me and all of this stuff. Um, but yeah. But I think um, I think progress in the future is is just relentless. So it's going to happen. The people that are naysayers, you know, uh, people who don't use ATM machines or don't use the Internet because they exist, you know, um, but we don't know who they are cause, because yeah. they're not connected, you know, and they're just out there living their very quiet, probably happy, solitary lives. <clears throat> but yeah. those people will eventually uh, die off, you know, and, and, and people who are being born into this, it's going to just be a normal thing where they won't have that bias against... Um, 
transhumanism really mm-hmm. is kind of what right. it comes down to. It's like, okay, we're going to, we're going to make ourselves better and stronger through technology and, um, they're not going to know the difference. They're just going to be, yeah. it's going to be something like that, you know, people who were, uh, born 20 years ago have never known anything other than, you know, high speed internet and Facebook. Sure. Sure. So it is, it is interesting. Um, you know, I, I kind of have a, a bit of an anti-Musk bias myself. Um, yeah. And I think it's mainly a personality thing with him and, and me. Like, like, he's, uh, you know, he, he was born with an, with an emerald in his palm. You yeah. know? And yeah. that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, like, starting off wealthy. Um, and then having well, the desire not, to well, go it's ahead. It's not cool. It's not cool. Okay. Like, yeah, go cool. ahead. Yeah. It's well, not it happens, cool, right? It does happen, but it's not cool. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. And then, and then have this desire to, uh, build these grant, you know, companies or, or purchase them, like, or, and then basically take a lot of credit for the things that have been done regarding these companies. You know, he didn't invent solar power, you know, although he, owns like the biggest solar company in the country solar city like that yeah uh, he didn't he did he's not a he's not a um uh he's not a um what do you call it what's the word i'm looking for like an aerospace engineer he's not that um, yeah and yet you know um spacex is doing kind of incredible things more or less, you know, with uh, the launching rockets, you know, they've had some fairly good success doing that. Um, but none of this technology is necessarily new. Like even with Tesla, the battery technology, it's all, it, it's been there. It's just that there's a bit of a cult of personality surrounding him, which, you know, it just is. Um, he a lot of people like make make him out to be personally some kind of like super genius and I don't know if I buy it. He might hire the right people to do cool things regarding technology, but those people are often overlooked. Like in just like with this Neuralink thing. Like he's not doing sure. this. It's, it's the company that he has a, a stake in is and and that's great. That's great. But I just want to make sure that actually during his presentation he did uh give a lot of credit to uh, his top team of scientists and engineers and stuff too, which was good. Like, I appreciated that. I, I did. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's kind of exciting. Um, they, I guess the main problem with Neuralink is, will it, uh, well, one, will it work? And two, will it last? Um, is it going to be something that can be uh, put in and, and stay there for years or decades. That's his like, That's his goal. He wants something yeah. that can be like put in and then not messed with whatsoever. Right. Um, and I, I think also that because of the hype surrounding this, that there's going to be a lot of uh, worthy competition, which is also good. You know, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's, it's a really Look, interesting Mark, idea, though. Marcus, yeah. you're you're a hater. You're just a hater. <laughs> why why and, would you say that? And and this guy is fantastic and everything that he's sort of pushing other engineers and scientists to do is pretty brilliant. And Yeah, but I've gotta be skeptical. Of Don't course I? you do. Okay. I'm not a hater. Of course you do. You're just a hater though. You just don't okay. like him because he was born with a silver spoon. Oh wait, wait, weren't you the one who was just saying that it's not that's not quote unquote cool? No, it's not but, cool at all. But you you don't like him because of that. That that's that's a, that's a hater. Okay. Well, who else who else do we hate on then? Well I don't I mean, like that I don't This I don't, is the hate episode. I know Will all of a sudden. really bothers me. Will hey hey really bothers oh, me. hey hey oh Hey, hey, ha-ha, that guy? Oh, Will woo. Smith. Ha-ha, woo. <laughs> no, the, uh, the, uh, yo, 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 
Your Uncle Phil! Your Uncle Phil! That guy. Ha ha! Woo! That guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, right? He bothers me because he's just too perfect and everything's too perfect. It yeah, he went bankrupt, perfect. apparently. You know, he, Did he, he really? once upon a time, he went, once upon a time, he went bankrupt after uh, Fresh Prince ended. He, uh, he thought he had, you know, he thought he was Big Willie, right? And he said yeah. he spent all this money and then, and then, um, he realized that, uh oh, I'm broke. And then, and then, uh, and then, I don't know. And then something happened and he's, and then suddenly he's not broke. So. I, I feel like, yeah. I feel like he went bankrupt so that his ex-wife <laughs> couldn't take all of his money. Or Probably. all of his assets. And Maybe I feel he just went like, morally bankrupt. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> right. I, I feel like that's bullshit. I feel like he had plenty of money after Fresh Prince, and he had a hit. He had a couple of hit records in a time. Of course he, he did. Of, of course he did. Like, he would have been making tons of royalties at that time for Boom Boom, Shake the Room, and Summertime. Oh, and come on. And this thing would have been fine. Thinking, thinking back, boom, boom, shake the room. That was uh, that was pretty good. I like that song. It's yeah. a good one. It, it was a good one. I know all the huh. words to it. Yeah. Oh, that's you. Anyway, maybe we maybe we should have uh, another Sean character. Uh, Sean, yeah. Sean, Sean could do it. Boom, boom. Sean, I don't know. I can't do it. Definitely do it. Yeah, he could do it. Boom, or, uh, boom, shake, shake the room. Yeah, that's chip, probably enough chip, of that. Chip, chip, boom. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, um. Well, that, yeah. sounded, that sounded awful. Yeah. Let's not do that. <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, Will Smith. Um, yeah, I don't like, I don't like Will Smith. Is, no, and apparently his, his wife... Don't like her either. Uh, Scientology recruiter. That's the word. Really? That's the word on the street, yeah. That, that although she officially wasn't involved... She was yeah. getting celebrities involved, uh, and through, I don't know, the promises of, uh, freaky, freaky deaky sex with her, I think, is kind of the deal. And, mm. and I know, I, I, I'm not saying that's a good idea. I, I think it's a horrible idea, but apparently several people, like, thought that was a good idea. To, um, it just sounds totally disgusting to me. Yeah. J- Jada Smith, huh? Oh, I, I don't even want yeah. to say the middle part because it just reminds me of like something I don't want to be reminded of. Yeah, it's a bit weird that part, isn't it? I always think about that too. Why does like, everyone always that? say the whole name? Like, yeah. I mean, what's Will Smith's middle name? Or, or right? I, r- Why right. Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's huh. like every every like uh, assassin had three names. John Wilbur, oh. Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald, all that. Yeah. What's up yeah. with that? I don't know. I don't know either. And then the serial killer guys, they only have two names, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ted Bundy, yeah. just two names, yeah. right? Mm. Um, uh, who's the other guy? Who's the other one? There's another serial well, killer guy, right? John, <laughs> There's another one. John. Charles Manson, but he wasn't a killer, but they always lump him in with the serial killers because he was the orchestrator. Right. Apparently, he did kill one guy on his own. Like, yeah, but, but that was a story that someone told, and it was a beach boy or someone, and who the fuck knows right. what they were yeah. doing out there anyway. Right. Jeffrey Dahmer won two names. Yeah. I wonder if the, I wonder if the heads in his refrigerator had three names. Do the victims all have three names? <laughs> I think that's how we picked his victims. They're like, mm. he's like, hello, I'm I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh-huh. He's like, oh, I'm I'm Billy Bob Smith. He's like, Billy Bob Smith, three names. Come back with me. Come back with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer was a murderer, but his victim Lisa Anne Marie was in the refrigerator with her head chopped off in pieces. Mm. Ah. Yeah, that's terrible. So we can we can all agree we can we can hate on uh, assassins and serial killers. That's pretty easy to do. That's pretty easy to do. Okay, well let's get back to like hating on things. Like I don't like Fred Savage either. I'm not a Fred Savage fan. Were you I ever? I loved Wonder Years, but 
I only really liked the Wonder Years because Paul was Marilyn Manson. Oh, right, right. That's right. Paul is Marilyn Manson. He's yeah, trying to so, um, say he's not, though. Uh, uh, Marilyn Manson himself, uh, or, or excuse me, uh, Brian Warner. Yeah. It's saying he's not, but um, I, of course he is. It's the same of guy. Course. We all know. We all know that he had this obsession with Winnie, and he could never get her. And therefore, he turned into this rebel, Satanist rock star. Right, and got, and got Rose McGowan instead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a, what, how terrible. She looks awful. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, it's really wow. bad. It's terrible. She was somewhat like, attractive at one point. Yeah, I like Winnie. What was her name? She she was hot with a girl next door type. Uh, yeah, you don't need to hate on her. Um, no. Winnie, let's see, Winnie Wonder Years Now. Oh, wow, Danica McKellar. Yeah. Looking, she, looking good. She's, she's a mathematician. Dude, she's, she's like 44. a really clever mathematician. And she writes right? math books. Yeah. That's fantastic. She's 44 years old. Whew. Is that even possible? No. Yeah, she's uh, she has a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with honors. Mm. Summa cum laude. I always liked uh, his sister, too, the Diablo sister. Hmm. I don't know. See, I, was, I never really watched The Wonder Years. Why? I don't know. I, because Probably because of Fred Savage. I couldn't stand the guy. Well, his mole is detractable. It's tasteful. Apparently he has a podcast now, like everybody else. Yeah. I don't yeah, know anyone uh, else who has a podcast other than us. We're the, we we're the, we're the true podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, Fred Aaron Savage, three names. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And then he had a brother who who was on a show. Uh, his brother annoyed me too, but I really liked the girl in that who played Topanga. Oh, that's a different show, though, right? Yeah. Or was she but, on that show too? No. No, that was um. My, well, I don't even know. What that, see, I never watched that either, but I know who that is. Danielle oh, Fisher. Sorry. Oh boy! Daniel Fisher. Yeah, that's that show's back. By the way, Did you, were you aware of that? Yeah, I'm not interested. No, <laughs> haven't, haven't seen film. it. Haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, um, I, we can we can hate on on reboots. Um, I would imagine the Wonder Years is probably gonna it was is on that track too to be um, rebooted. I mean, why why wouldn't they? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't, but there aren't a lot of reasons why they wouldn't. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I, I don't know. I just feel I like... I don't know either. I don't think you should do that. I think you should leave it. Uh, I, but, because it was pretty magical, and it was pretty cool, and it was kind of this time, and they they were capturing a time in the 60s when kind of things were quite innocent with everyone, and it was kind of yeah. magic. See, and, I think the best part was just the Daniel Stern narration. Like, that was, like, yeah. that yeah, was it. That was, like, really, if they, <laughs> you can just talk the whole way through, and, yeah. and then that would be cool. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I want to do a Dirty Wonder Years sometime, so we'll figure it out. Oh, we, we were talking about doing a Dirty Princess Bride. Like, Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because you, you've seen Bad Lip Reading, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I was watching a, a bunch of bad lip reading uh, episodes, and yeah. it looks like so much fun to do. And yeah. I think we should. I think we should uh, absolutely attempt it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't really know how. I mean, I do know how. Like, it's easy enough to download um, a clip and and figure and and just basically trial through trial, trial and error. Yeah. See, um, what you can say that matches what the lips are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't really have to make sense. Um, no. But, uh, but the bad lip reading channel itself, they just do it so well. Um, it's something, definitely something to aspire to. Yeah. Because the world, the world needs more of that. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. I agree.
Mm -hmm. and, and I like to shit on things that are that were innocent and part of my childhood because oh yeah, that's, that's how I feel feel good about myself. Yeah, yeah, that's a great thing to do. Yeah, because it's uh, you know you, we were like corrupting the the sweet memories of, of other people who happen to uh, come across our show and uh, yeah, and then you know there's a little damage there, but you know that's cool like because. Because it only builds character. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> right. It's like, absolutely. oh, what, you can't, oh, you can't take it? Oh, what, what kind of a pussy are you? You can't right? feel the little corruption of your sweet memory? Right. You, yeah. you, you, you don't do. like, you don't like seeing something you love being shit on? Huh? 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 Well, where's the thumbs down then? We, we don't get nearly enough, like, thumbs down. Yeah, we've been so, waiting for them. Where the hell are you at, man? Where your so, thumbs down, man. So maybe the answer and kind of what we're looking, what or what we need to like look at, is even more offensive material. Like so that people yeah. can really just hate on it, just yeah. as you know we are hating on so many other things. Yeah, what we need we need that back. You know we can't yeah. get nothing nothing but like love and encouraging comments and thumbs ups and. You know, people well, like enjoying our videos. We need to find the audience who really can't stand the stuff, but they're they can't turn away. <laughs> yeah. Those ones, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we'll keep working on it. Um, <clears throat> okay. I don't know. I think yeah, I think uh, I think we got everything covered here today. It's uh, you know, just get in and get out, make it keep it snappy. Yeah, um, nothing nothing heavy. Yeah. No, like Neuralink though. That's whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to do it. Back I'm around gonna, we come to Neuralink. I'm going to volunteer. I'm going to volunteer to have uh, to be Neuralinked. Mm hmm. They said it's just like LASIK. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. I'll get one in my penis. You're gonna get a Neuralink in your penis? Yeah. I want my dick so to talk to the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, who are you? Like, there's being someone in in another room in another state or in another country typing, yeah. and and a friend yeah. will say, "Hey, hey, what are you doing?" And then they'll say, "Oh, I'm talking to uh, Alexi's penis." Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> what? You're like, yeah. yeah, it's I'm communicating. Like, what? Yeah, like wow, and, and yeah. you'll say, "Whoa, keep keep typing that, keep typing." Yeah, keep. yeah. Fantastic. And I'll just sit there with it in my pants, and it'll do the job. Yeah. And and people will say this guy never never does any work, and, and you're, you you'll know like oh they have no idea that my penis is actually doing everything for me right now. Mm. That's cool. I like that idea. You can just walk Be around cool. and be like, yeah, my my dick is on the job, everybody. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't exactly. worry about it. It's fixing. It's fixing my limbs that have fallen off. It's you know, <laughs> making me walk again. Yeah, man. Neuralink. 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 Dick. Neuralink. We got to call it better. Dick, Dick Neuralink. Neuralink. Hi, yeah. I'm Dick Neuralink. Do you I've, ever I've got to communicate with your computer through your dick? Well, with my new invention. You now can talk to your computer with your dick. Dick Neuralink. Ding! Thanks a lot, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye.